Welcome back, everybody, to Friday Night SmackDown, the final show before the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, which is just 24 hours after this show. Hello, everybody. My name is Mr. Rob. I will be commentating for you guys tonight. I hope you guys are ready for another explosive edition of SmackDown. If you are, make sure you drop that like and you subscribe down below, especially if you want more wrestling content. We're live here in Phoenix, Arizona, and we're going to get the night off. Started with some action as Sonya Deville gets ready to make her way to the ring because right now we're going to figure out who is the final woman in the Money in the Bank ladder match for tomorrow. Six women are a part of it. Three from Raw, three from SmackDown. So far, Asuka has qualified from SmackDown and so has Shayna Baszler. We're going to find out who the third competitor is. Sonya Deville has asked for this opportunity from Adam Pearce and he said, yeah, I guess I'll give you the spot. Won't tell you who your opponent will be, so Sonya Deville has no idea who she's getting ready to fight. But we'll find out in just a moment's time who will claim the final spot in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Well, hold on just a second. It is Raquel Rodriguez who is going to get to fight for the spot. SmackDown's newest women on the roster, the former NXT Women's Champion, the former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, makes her main roster debut here tonight, Raquel Rodriguez. And she has a golden opportunity, a chance to fight in the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. What an opportunity for the newcomer here tonight. A big first match. So, Deville, you don't have much time to prepare, but it is Raquel Rodriguez. So, let's get ready. Who will claim that spot? Will it be Sonya Deville or will it be Raquel Rodriguez? And we are ready to begin tonight's action. One spot on the line, Money in the Bank ladder match. Both women meet in the center of the ring. Looks like it is Raquel who's going to get the early advantage. And she's going to pick up Sonya Deville and drive the knee into the spine. Well, if you're Sonya, you can't prepare for your competitor. But now you know that Raquel is probably going to have the size and the strength advantage in this one. So you kind of have to use your quickness. Sonya might have to rely on some of that experience, some of the moves that she has learned in the past couple of years since she's been on the main roster as Rocco goes for a quick pin couldn't get it done but Sonya Deville or Raquel Rodriguez who will join the field it is Asuka and Shayna Bays already from Smackdown on the raw side of things you do have a pretty solid trio Becky Lynch Alexa Bliss Carmella all have qualified for the Money in the Bank ladder match who will get that final spot as Sonya now flips this into a pinning predicament, she gets one on Rodriguez. So we talked about Raquel's experience in NXT. She's very talented, has got the accolades down there, and SmackDown, I think, has gotten a very good pickup in Raquel to join the women's division. And right now, she's got her hands full with Sonya, who looks like has taken control of this contest, but Raquel will sweep the leg. And now she will have the advantage and drops the elbow right across the chest of the former general manager. Or I guess uh, official for that matter. I don't think she was really ever titled general manager, but you know what I mean. As Raquel now goes for a cover, drafts Sonya away from the ropes and only gets a one. Now Raquel thinking about her next move. Let's Sonya get back to her feet. May not have been the wise decision. She does block the punch and then just drops DeVille with a straight running right hand. That is the power that Raquel displays. I don't think she got all of it, but she was still able to knock over DeVille. And now we'll send her over the top rope and tumbling to the outside goes Sonya. And Raquel won't waste that much time. She'll head out right after here. And continues to taunt away, get the crowd behind her. This is her first match here on SmackDown. So the fans in the corner of Raquel get to see the debuting young lady here tonight. And now Raquel on the outside drives DeVille into the mat. And it is not a lot of padding out there. And it's rough up to a count of three. Raquel has her up again. And is just going to drag her to the barricade. And just dump her face first across it. Continuing to establish control. Does Rodriguez. And she continues to do her work on the outside. Money in the Bank is 24 hours after this show. It actually will be premiered this coming Saturday. That will be the Money in the Bank premiere 
as we will build to our next pay-per-view. I'm super excited to be bringing it to you. A stat card. We'll talk about it later on tonight. You know, Roman Reigns versus Sheamus for the Universal Championship. While on Raw, you got Bobby Lashley defending against Seth Rollins for the WWE Championship. As well as Bailey coming back and fighting for the Raw Women's Championship. It is a stat card, and you can't even count. That's not even counting the two Money in the Bank ladder matches, so you won't want to miss Money in the Bank premiering this Saturday. But right back in the ring, these women want the final spot in the ladder match. And right now, Raquel has DeVille up on her shoulders and just drives her almost through the mat as DeVille has been on the receiving end of Raquel's strength advantage. Now looks to drag her towards the center of the ring. Raquel thinks she's done enough to get the victory. Has she? She gets one, gets two, but DeVille does kick out and keep the match alive. Raquel continues to feed off of the WWE Universe here in Phoenix. Not wanting to lay off Sonya. This is a very smart move. You know, I know it is your debut, but you can't let the moment get to you. This is a big opportunity, a big spot. You know, you get granted with a qualifying match in your first match here on SmackDown. And now DeVille will dump Raquel out to the outside. DeVille wants to give Rodriguez a taste of her own medicine or maybe even just look for a breather. Now DeVille will go to the outside, tries to meet Raquel there, connects with a nice kick and a couple of strikes. Former MMA fighter DeVille, very combative in the striking game, very good in that aspect. He now has a hold of the right arm of Raquel and continues to stretch out that elbow joint on the outside. And DeVille maybe talking a little bit of trash, saying, hey, you know, I'm just going to scrape the boots off with you. As ref now up to a count of four, DeVille will get Raquel back to her feet and... Goes for another strike. Raquel backs up into the barricade. I think that right hand might have caught Rodriguez flush on the temple. The ref up now to a count of six. A count out will get the job done, but you do risk a double count out here. Is ref up to seven as Deville takes down Rodriguez on the outside. And going to get her back up to her feet. He's got to hold on Rodriguez and just going to dump her across the outside. Ref up to a count of eight now. Deville trying to win by count out. Rodriguez has to get back in the ring. I think DeVille thought she was going to make it, so she goes to meet her on the outside. Might not have been the smartest strategy as now Rodriguez drives DeVille again with a power slam onto the floor. Rodriguez, a couple of stiff shots to DeVille now. Grabs a hold of her, gets her back up to her feet, and just, oh my gosh, just threw her right up against the announce table. DeVille, that could have been very, very bad. Unfortunately, or fortunately for her, she is still continuing on this match as Raquel... Begs DeVille to get back in, dares her to get back into the ring as ref was up to about a count of six. And Rodriguez suckered her in, had her up, now going to stretch her across the back. This is a modified submission on the gory position as Raquel torquing away on the head, on the lower body, and the spine of DeVille. DeVille not going to tap out just yet, but Raquel thinks she's done and none enough. And now lifts up, drives the knee down. And Raquel trying to drag DeVille away from the ropes, trying to get her into position. Might be wasting a lot of time here. He's trying to get her to the very center of the ring. Now we'll go for the cover. Gets one, gets two, and almost gets three. But I think that time wasted trying to get her away from the ropes is going to cost Raquel there. But she might just be lining up Sonya for the final maneuver. DeVille back to her feet. Raquel has her. She's thinking the Tejada bomb. And there it is. Through the canvas almost, Raquel stacks up DeVille, gets one, gets two, and that'll punch her ticket. Two money in the bank. Rodriguez gets the final spot in the ladder match and a very strong performance in her SmackDown debut. As Raquel picks up the victory over Sonya, it looked pretty good. Hard for her to really combat against her first time or surprise opponent. But Raquel Rodriguez will fill out the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Well, we still have plenty of action for you guys here in the rest of the night. Let's take a look at what's going to come up. Next, Drew Gulak will take on Butch in one-on-one -on -one contest. Then Shinsuke goes up against Shanky. And Asuka and Shayna Baszler, the other two SmackDown women in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match, go one-on-one -on -one in a high-profile contest in our main event, Drew McIntyre versus Sami Zayn. Butch knocks off Drew Gulak. Shinsuke gets the win over the skyscraping Shanky. And Asuka does knock off Shanna. That's a very important match for Momentum going into the pay-per-view. And it's time for our main event, Drew Gulak, or Drew McIntyre versus Sami Zayn. 
Before we get to our main event, Natalia and Shotzi make their way to the ring. It looks like they have something to say before the main event. Maybe it has to do with Money in the Bank this Saturday. But we'll see what Natalia has in mind. Now, before the main event gets underway, I just wanted to come out here and have a bone to pick with management. Why are me and Shotzi, the best women's tag team in all of the WWE right now, not on the Money in the Bank pay-per-view? Last week, Liv lost to Shotzi. She pinned her 1-2-3 in the middle of the ring. And as for Liv and Rhea Ripley, Rhea Ripley's nowhere to be found. She's hurt. So Liv, how can you have one person holding the women's tag team title? So in my opinion, we should be on Money in the Bank and we should be the women's tag team champion. So I'm asking Adam Pierce, any official in the back right now, to answer my question, why are me and Shotzi not on the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Now hold on a second, Natalia. Now I hear your request. I hear that you want to be on Money in the Bank, but if I recall also, you did lose to Shayna Baszler in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup before the pay-per-view. So you had your chance. But, you know, I do want to respect your opinion, but at the same time, you guys did lose to Liv and Rhea Ripley last month at Hell in a Cell. You had a shot for the Women's Tag Team Championships, and you lost that opportunity. But... Since I'm a fair guy and I want to give you a chance, yes, you will be on the pay-per-view, but you're going to have to earn another shot at the Women's Tag Team Championships because you will be in a number one contenders match. And, you know, if you thought Raquel Rodriguez debuting here on SmackDown earlier tonight was it, well, I have more in store because these are your opponents for Money in the Bank. Well, Natalia Shotzi will have a match of the pay-per-view. And hold on a second. The debuts are not done. This is Katana Chance and Caden Carter from NXT. They're live here on SmackDown. Adam Pierce has brought in the hat trick. Saw Raquel Rodriguez earlier tonight. Now Katana Chance and Caden Carter, one of the most electrifying women's tag teams in NXT, are here. And they will battle Natalia and Shotzi at the pay-per-view in a number one contenders match. For the Women's Tag Team Championships this is a big get for SmackDown. You can see Natalia and Shotzi want no part of them tonight. But welcome Chance and Carter. Well, how about the surprise debuts here tonight on SmackDown? And now it's time for your main event of the evening. Two men who are in the Money in the Bank ladder match come tomorrow. And here, making his way to the ring, Drew McIntyre, the Scottish warrior who would want nothing more than to win that briefcase and finally get his hands on the head of the table himself. Roman Reigns, Drew McIntyre has headed out for the bloodline and hard to say, maybe the bloodline been ducking Drew McIntyre. I mean, they did put him in this match. I think Roman Reigns trying to deflect the pursuit of McIntyre. And McIntyre, what did he do? He responded with a Claymore kick to Paul Heyman. The night, the SmackDown after Hill in a Cell, we have not seen Paul Heyman since then. But Drew McIntyre, you know, if he wins Money in the Bank, he has a golden opportunity to potentially take the Universal Championship off of Roman Reigns. But the caveat, he has to go through seven other men to do it. Four from Raw, four from SmackDown. We'll get to see two of them here in our main event. The other two, Shinsuke Nakamura and Jinder Mahal. And we saw them kind of collide earlier on tonight as Drew McIntyre awaits his opponent. And is none other than the great liberator himself, Sami Zayn, the former Intercontinental Champion, makes his way to the ring. A high profile spot here for Sami. Be very big for him if he were to win the money in the bank. I said there's been a, just a big conspiracy against him in the WWE and had to qualify for a spot in the ladder match. He was able to do so, but now has to go up one on one against Drew McIntyre. I'm sure Sami's complained to somebody in the back that it's not fair that he has to face Drew. Just 24 hours before the ladder match. But if Sammy were to win here tonight, that would be a huge momentum swing for Sammy Zang. As a lot of people probably look at him as the underdog in this match like he's been throughout his whole career. But that's never really stopped Sammy. Multiple time Intercontinental Champion for NXT Champion as well. So Sammy Zayn knows what it gets to the talk. He's been the underdog for his entire career. He hasn't really embraced it in recent time. But he's got to knock off Drew McIntyre here tonight in our SmackDown main event. McIntyre looks ready. Zayn looks sort of ready in the corner, but he's got to be ready. Nonetheless, as our main event is started, 
And quickly, McIntyre gets a hold of Sammy, puts him up on his shoulders, and just going to hang him across the top rope. And that's what you're just going to get with McIntyre. He's going to have the power advantage nine times out of ten. So Sammy, just like that, is going to have to use his quickness to stay alive in this contest. And how about that power, though, from Zayn? A suplex attempt there to Drew McIntyre. That'll take him down. Now Sammy with the early control. McIntyre, though, quickly sweeps the leg. Talked about the pursuit of McIntyre against the bloodline. He has another chance to put a dent in their armor at Money in the Bank. Fortunately, him and Kofi were unsuccessful last month at Hell in a Cell. They were in a tag team championship match against the Usos, and the Usos purposely got themselves disqualified in that contest. Want no thing to do with Drew. And like we said earlier, they put him in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Drew didn't have to beat anybody to qualify for Money in the Bank. Paul Heyman pulled a couple strings in the back, was able to, as they say, gift McIntyre with a spot in Money in the Bank, but I just have to feel like there is something behind it. There's an ulterior motive. To me, it just doesn't seem like the bloodline want anything to do with McIntyre. They think, if I can put him in Money in the Bank, his odds of winning are very, very slim. I mean, you have a 1 in 8 chance. It's about a 14% chance of walking out of Las Vegas with Money in the Bank. So the bloodline instead, Roman Reigns will defend the championship against Sheamus at Money in the Bank, who beat Kobe Kingston in a number one contenders match. Well, meanwhile, Sami Zayn the other time, he beat Drew Gulak to qualify for this spot. And Zayn hasn't really found much success ever since losing to Johnny Knoxville at WrestleMania. And right now is on the receiving end of hard left hand shots right across the chest. That will definitely leave a mark, so... For Sami Zayn, winning money in the bank would get his career right back on track to where he was before he got involved with Knoxville, and that was being Intercontinental Champion. So Zayn's hoping that he can use tomorrow night as an opportunity to kind of rebuild some momentum. But right now, both superstars at the floor as Al McIntyre sends Zayn into the barricade across. And the ref has begun his count. Now at McIntyre, just more left-hand shots as Sami Zayn. Has got to get out from underneath McIntyre. Has got to use his quickness. Going to try to get back in this one. He was looking good early on in the contest. But now McIntyre with a hold of Sammy on the outside. Drills him straight into the floor. Now ref up to a count of four. McIntyre gets Zane back to his feet. Just more strikes and a glass cow kiss for good measure. Drops, McIn or drops Sammy, excuse me. And now McIntyre all fired up right here in front of the fans in Phoenix. McIntyre now hold of Zane. A neck breaker for good measure. Ref up to a count of seven. So starting to get deep into the count now. As McIntyre gets Sammy up to his feet. And well, I think he was trying to throw him into the steel steps. Sammy able to put on the brakes. And with a count of eight, both competitors make their way into the ring. Sammy kicked to the midsection. Fisherman suplex there by Sammy. More power on display by Zane as he's able to hit another suplex attempt on McIntyre. And that might be what he needs to get back in this matchup. You can see trying to fire himself up, trying to get back in this contest. So he gets McIntyre to his feet and it's going to send him over the top rope to the apron. Shot to the face. What does Sammy have in mind here? Maybe thinking back. Suplex onto the apron. The hardest part of the ring. Sammy doing some damage to the lower back of McIntyre. McIntyre is going to continue to fight. Tries to create some space. Just going to throw Sammy into the ring. This gives him a chance to get a breather now. And Zane will wait McIntyre to re-enter the ring. And there's a nice clothesline attempt from Zane. Knocks McIntyre off his feet. And now just short right-hand shots from Zane this time. Not as powerful as McIntyre, but as effective. The rapid fire strikes. McIntyre, though, kick to the head. Backs up Zane, but Zane catches the boot. Drives a elbow into the right. Leg and there's a blue thunder bomb for good measure. Zayn with the blue thunder bomb doesn't hold the pin. Now he's gonna go for it. Might have wasted a little bit too much time there after the blue thunder bomb gets one, gets two, but McIntyre kicks out at two. Zayn with the blue thunder bomb. McIntyre might be in some deeper water than he realized. Zayn can he pull off the upset? Gets McIntyre back to his feet, gonna throw him into the turnbuckle. Maybe thinking hulu of kick. Yes, he was, but McIntyre moves out of the way. And Zane misses the Haluva kick. McIntyre had it scouted. And that might have been the shot. But Zane, maybe going to try it again. Gets McIntyre in the corner. Instead, just going to drive some right hand shots. Three, four, 
Five strikes to the head. Nick is six. And McIntyre will back out at six. Shrugs. Sami Zayn off. And McIntyre goes for a Claymore kick. Oh, that looked ugly. A car crash in the center of the ring. McIntyre with a desperate Claymore on Sami Zayn. Couldn't tell if he got all of it, though. As McIntyre going to try to go for the victory off of the Claymore kick. Gets one, gets two, but Zayn does kick out at two. I don't think McIntyre got all of the Claymore. I think Zayn was able to absorb some of it despite what looked like a nasty connection there. And now Zayn trying to get back in this contest. Going to try to fire him up. I wouldn't do that, Sam. He drew McIntyre quickly back to his feet. And Zayn pays the price. Snake Eyes into the corner now. As McIntyre continues to try to wear down Sammy. He's going to put him up on his shoulder. Think about putting him in the turnbuckle. Yes, he does. Face first across the padding goes Zayn. And again, McIntyre just throws Sammy across the ring. I mean, just look at the way McIntyre is built. Get Zayn back to his feet. More strikes. Another Glasgow kiss. That'll mock Zayn to the floor. But just like that, turns the tables. Zayn's got a lot of fight. We've... Regardless of what you think of his demeanor nowadays, he's been very resilient throughout his WWE career. And McIntyre's finding that out firsthand tonight. Every single time McIntyre tries to gain some momentum, Zayn is there to cut him off. As McIntyre this time up for a vertical suplex, the power marching and just drives him up through the mat. Goes Zayn. Now McIntyre thinks he might have done enough to get the victory. Going to try to drag him away from the corner. Goes for the cover now. Is that enough to put Zayn away? Gets two, but no, at the last second, Sammy does get the left shoulder up and stays alive in this contest. And McIntyre maybe getting a little frustrated now. Just repeated boot stomps into the chest. And now McIntyre to the corner. Maybe lining him up for another Claymore. Zayn, don't turn around. This time connects flush on the jaw. McIntyre into the cover off the Claymore. And that is enough to get the victory. McIntyre beats Zayn, who was very resilient here tonight. But was unable to pick off the victory. A nice blue thunderbomb there by Zayn. Just very good fight. And McIntyre, though, was able to finish it off with that Claymore kick. And Drew has the momentum going into Money in the Bank. Will he be able to knock off seven other competitors, though, and win Money in the Bank? Because hold on a second. We're in the backstage area now. Kofi Kingston and the Usos going at it. Kofi and Jay going at it one-on-one. -on -one. And Kofi just flipped him onto that equipment. As these two teams will battle at Money in the Bank. Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods, the New Day trying to take it to the bloodline. As the SmackDown Tag Team Championships will be on the line here. Kofi Kingston with Uso up on that equipment. Drops Jay with the drop kick now with a chair for good measure. And just hits Jay right across the face and into the back now. Like I said, these two teams will fight over the SmackDown Tag Team Championships at Money in the Bank. For what could be the last time, if the New Day do not beat the Usos, they will never get a shot at the Tag Team Championships as long as the Usos hold it ever again. So this could be a do or die. So Kofi, tired of the bloodline, trying to take it through him, throws Jay off of the equipment. Meanwhile, on another side of the arena, it's Roman Reigns and Sheamus going on in the back. These two fighting over the Universal Championship. The Bloodline attacked Sheamus last week on SmackDown in that big six-man tag team match. Let Sheamus get pinned, and you knew the Irish Warrior was not going to uh, settle for that. Him and Roman Reigns fighting it out in the back as Roman throws Sheamus onto the concrete. These two will go to war just tomorrow night. And they couldn't even wait till then, trying to send the shot as the Universal Champion. Gets Sheamus back to his feet, but Sheamus, with a counter, knocks down Roman. As these two continue to fight, we need to get some officials back there. We need to separate these two as Roman and Sheamus continue to go at it. Strikes left and right and uppercut. That drops the Tribal Chief. But he's back to his feet now. And Roman... With a hold of Sheamus. No, Sheamus is just going to send Roman into the trash can. But quickly back to his feet. Kicked in the midsection. Now Roman with a couple of strikes with a headbutt for good measure. Takes down Sheamus. And these two continue to go at it. Another uppercut drops Roman. Sheamus says, get back to your feet. 
And Aroma does kick to the midsection, now covering more strikes as these two continue to throw bombs at each other. And now Roman with Sheamus has him up and is going to plant him onto the floor. Down goes Sheamus. Roman gets him back to his feet. More strikes now. But Sheamus with a slap. Knocks down Roman. He connects with a bro kick in the back. Sheamus gets the last laugh right before their Universal Championship match. Just tomorrow night at Money in the Bank. Who will walk away as the Universal Champion? And then we talked about it as well. The Usos defend the SmackDown Tag Team Championships against the New Day. Will this be the last chance the New Day has against the Usos? Or will they be able to win the prize? And also, this one made official tonight. Natalia and Shotzi will take on the newest team of SmackDown. Katana Chance and Caden Carter in a number one contenders match for the Women's Tag Team Championships. Who will get one step closer to the gold? And now the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match is official on the Raw side. You got Becky Lynch, Alexa Bliss, and Carmella. And for SmackDown, Asuka, Shayna Baszler, and now Raquel Rodriguez, who will walk out of Las Vegas, Miss Money in the Bank. And then you got the men's side of things. Eight superstars, four from Raw, four from SmackDown. And we got to worry about the wild card. We don't know who the final man is for Raw. It will be announced at the pay-per-view. But Money in the Bank shaping up to be a, a sensational performance. You don't want to miss it this Saturday. It's going to premiere live right here on the channel. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you at Money in the Bank. If you like this episode, make sure you drop a like and you subscribe down below, especially if you want more Universe Mode content. This is Mr. Rob, and I'll see you at the pay-per-view.